It's the highest rated show in all of cable television. This is Monday Night Raw. This arena is so loud I can barely hear myself think. That's good. Maybe we won't have to listen to you speak. Michael Cole, can you feel it? Something special. Don't move. We have a great match coming up next. I can't wait. If their love wasn't apparent during that entrance, the WWE Universe is firmly behind Finn Balor. And I wouldn't at all be surprised if this match stole the show here tonight. What a slam! Impactful. Well, jar your spine. And set up a vicious knee. Oh, my lord. What a strike! At the oh, ooh, what impact! one's over. Got red suplex. Making it look easy. What do you think Finn Balor needs to focus on right now? This is not where he wants to be right now, guys. Here's for Finn. He hasn't done nearly enough to get the pin yet. Not yet. Harsh impact. Swipe blade. Nicely done. Boom. <laughs> Technique. And a pin attempt. Warren Strowman with an easy kick out there. As a former strong man, I'd expect nothing less from Braun. Oh. This might be it. Oh, my. He's looking at it. Strowman is taking no prisoners right here. Oh, he's such a tough target. Braun Strowman doing a great job of turning that around. He wants no part of the outside. Oh, what impact! It is clear Finn Balor is feeling the pure brutality of this fight. His outlook is not good at all. The WWE.com poll had him as the overwhelmed. Wow, I thought he was a goner. It's like he tapped into some unseen energy source. Whoa, down he goes. That was impressive, Cole. Look at Finn Balor stalking him. Incoming. He wants no part of the outside. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. He's got the shoulders down. Ron Strowman gets the shoulder up. Way too early. Strowman is taking no prisoners right here. Finn Balor going high risk. Look at this. Oh, nasty impact. 
impact. Bringing it back into the ring. Two. The monster among men picks his opponent up. Oh my gosh, from what heights. Things are about as bad as they could possibly be right now for Finn Balor. Uh, yeah, there's no way this match isn't over after that one. Ring rattling! The cover. One, two, and an earful. Wow, that's pure power, guys. Strowman is feeling it right here. Versus that one. And Finn Balor is larger than life out there. Oh, look at this. Inverted DDT. He's going for it all. Finn Balor perched on top. Here it comes. Cross. Can he finish him off here? Now that got those shoulders on the map. Two. And he gets the shoulder up. Nice kick out there. Harsh impact. What a stomp. Good grief. Strowman dodged that one. Oh boy, he is rolling. And the ref goes down. We need a new ref out here fast. Finn Balor needs to dial back some of that Irish charm right about now. Keep your eye on this one. This is where Finn Balor's at home. But can he follow up? Shoulders on the mat. One, two, barely at two and a half. I can't believe what we're seeing here. Whoa, Strowman dodged that one. Back inside the ring now. Just launched. A minor miracle might be needed to overcome this beating. Ooh, what impact. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. What's coming next? Back suplex. Ooh. Very nice. He could pin his opponent right here. Two. I wouldn't have been surprised if that was it. Wow. How'd he do that? Finn Balor is larger than life out there. Finn Balor must have kissed the Blarney Stone because he's yapping out there. Two. Three. Well, Finn Balor is Irish, and they're known for their gift of gab. Finn Balor needs to dial back some of that Irish charm right about now. Oh, boy, he is rolling. He's got him here. He's got him. Sidewalk slam. And he's going through the ring. The Wyatt family black sheep is fired up. Four. Five. These superstars wearing the wounds right now of what has been an absolutely thrilling matchup. Into the mat. But can Strowman follow up here? Finn Balor really needs to dig down deep and fast. Or get a shot. Penny predicament. Two. 
What is keeping this competitor going? Gonna think more than that. The Irishman has his Irish up. He's lining him up. And here's the monster along man, Corey. Look at the power. Hellacious power slam. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. That slam. Yes! Unreal performance. A lot of good action in that one. Here's another look. Check this out. And the first match of the night comes to an end in thrilling fashion. If that's the type of action we're going to get all night long, I can't wait to see the rest of the card unfold. What a way to kick off the night. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're just getting started. Up next, we'll see two teams who are on a collision course, and it's happening right here. It's Team Bo Dallas against the Revival. Tag team action. Ready to go here. And look at these two. Trash talk. Oh, look. They're not going to wait. They're just going to throw down. Yeah, I mean, this rivalry's been building and building and building. And he knew that there was going to be something like this. That there was going to be a blow up here tonight. He wants no part of the outside. Oof. Oh, nasty impact. Ooh. Oh, 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 man. Back in from the floor. When a superstar is in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment, they must find a way back to their corner to tag their partner. Something that they have to try is doing create separation between them and their opponent. That space gives a superstar the ability to move and catch their breath. successful is their ability to endure punishment and make their way to their partner when they need to tag out. One way to do that is to create that separation you spoke of so they have some space to gather themselves and time to make their way back to the corner. You're absolutely right, Michael. What's the use of having a tag team partner if you're not able to get to them when you got to tag out of the match? Getting that separation is key in breaking any momentum your opponents could have may be the difference between a win and a loss. Maybe even more. The biggest thing an opponent has to be aware of when they lock up with Bo Dallas is falling under an immediate attack. The Bo Leave in Bo spirit has consumed Bo Dallas, and this man is more ferocious than ever. different than the individual who debuted in WWE in 2014. For someone challenging Bo Dallas today, they need to be ready to square off against a vicious individual. What Bo Dallas has shown us is that he's willing to take out anyone at any time. An opponent must be ready for anything once they've been identified as Dallas's opponent. I mean, before they even get in the ring. Than that to yeah. stop him here tonight. 
He seemed more motivated than ever heading into this match, which makes me think he still has plenty of fight left in him. Oh, he's able to reverse it. Scott Dawson is pulling out all the stops here. Comes up big with the reversal. Well, he's got him here. He's got him. This might be it. Oh, my. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard, the heart attack from the Hart Foundation, the rocker dropper from the Rockers, or the doomsday device from the Road Warriors. A team needs to have a tag team finisher and be able to execute that finisher on all types of opponents. Corey, a few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget about the 3D from the Dudley Boys or the double drop kick from the 2017 WWE Hall of Famers, the Rock and Roll Express. In tag team action, like in singles competition, once a duo nails their opponent with their finisher, that should signal the beginning of the end. It can take a long time for a tag team to decide on a double team finisher, but I agree. A team needs one, and it should be something that can be administered to any opponent. That's when a finishing move is truly effective. And since we're talking about tag teams, remember you and your partner have until the referee's five count to execute the move. Dash Wilder has eyes to finish. There's no way he's giving up now. And he breaks free just when you thought he was out of this one. You gotta believe this one's over. He better hope his stamina lasts. Oh, what an uppercut! Oh, incredible. The damage has been done. Look at this. And kick it out is Curtis Axel. Have to put in a little more work than that. And tag it is Scott Dawson. A quick reversal by Curtis Axel. Scott Dawson on the defensive here. But not for a second do I expect him to back down now. It's the second time, Cole. Does he try to get back on the offensive himself? Or does he attempt to make a tag here? I can tell you with all certainty that he did not anticipate his opponent oh, mounting any sort of comeback here. And it looks like he was wrong. Very wrong. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Oops. Oh, Dawson takes out the knee. Uh-oh. I'm not sure how much he has left. Very difficult position to be in right now. Yeah, situations like this usually don't end very pleasantly. The tag team competition right now is as heated as it's ever been since the Attitude Era. Everywhere you look, there's another tremendous tag team combination looking to make a run at the WWE Tag Team Gold. When we talk about the New Day, the team won a fatal four-way match in their second tag team title reign at 2015's SummerSlam. I may think the power of positivity stinks like a bag of rotting garbage. The Woods, Kingston, and Big E are idiots. But I'll give the New Day this. They're one of the greatest tag teams ever. And what put them in that category was when their tag team championship reign lasted a record setting 483 days.
his shoulders are down. They did it! Wow! What a match! These guys were awesome. Let's take another look. He really put on a great show. with an impressive victory. And if that matches any indication of what to expect here tonight, we are in for an amazing evening. Believe it or not, that's just the beginning, folks. Stay tuned for more great action. We got one-on-one -on -one action coming your way next. Taking on some tough competition. Since Matt Hardy's return, the most persistent enemy and ally for the Woken Warrior has been none other than Bray Wyatt. He is the eater of worlds, or as Matt calls him, the consumer of terrestrial entities, was actually the catalyst for Matt Hardy's quote-unquote awakening. And this is one of those oh. matches where it's hard to believe we get paid for this. Well, actually, it's hard to believe Saxton gets paid for anything. All the way out. To the R, hyper extend your elbow. And the head scissors are fine. Oh, oh, oh man, that's just nasty. <laughs> Not the fall that hurts, it's the sudden stop at the end. Oh, what impact. for that. What a stomp. Good grief. Bray Wyatt on the defensive. Ouch. He's going to want to make sure this doesn't snowball out of control. I know it's early, but he has to do everything in his power not to let this get out of hand. He's looking banged up here, guys. And it looks like things are about to get even worse. Head scissors applied. And, ooh, oh, look at this. When this guy's on, look out. It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. That's using your head. This could be the start of an ugly downward spiral if he's not careful. Yeah, he's taking on some offense here, but that's to be expected, especially considering who he's in the ring. Wyatt kicking some serious tail here. Oh, man. Dodges a bullet there. What does Bray Wyatt have to do at this point to stay in the match? Guys, he's going to have to turn things around quickly if he wants to win this thing. Oh, man. The amount of punishment he's absorbed in this match is absolutely insane. A lesser man would have given up and walked away by now. In a back-and-forth match like this, he has to do everything in his power not to let his opponent gain too much. Boom. But he's got to capitalize now. Looking for all the glory here. Kick out. Just needs to do more damage.
For years, Monday night has been the most exciting night in sports entertainment, and the action we're seeing here is a lot of the reason why. Better be careful not to get disqualified. Oh, nasty impact. You gotta believe this one's over. One of these guys is going to walk away with the win here tonight. I just can't imagine one of them also accepting defeat. I like this aggression, just oh. pure brutality. Come on, easy. You have to wonder if there's the cover, can he do it? Wow, what a display of heart and determination. seem to be his night tonight, guys. The light from Bray's fireflies may be dimming. He could do it here. Oh, oh, he kicked out. Unbelievable. I don't believe it. He refuses to lose. Wyatt kicking some serious tail here. Big time slam. Vicious. Nailed it. Ray Wyatt reverses it. Ray Wyatt drives his opponent down with a Yurinagi. This is his opportunity to win this thing. Your whole body hurts after... We got a cover. One. Two. A kick out after one. Wow. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Bray Wyatt, sister Abigail, delivered by Bray Wyatt. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. You can't teach the type of tenacity we're witnessing here. Unreal. I am in shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? Beautiful technique. This one's getting ugly. You might want to turn away if you have a weak heart. He's looking a little wobbly here, guys. Michael, his legs look like they're about to give out on him. Just a step quicker, it looks like. Oh, he's such a tough target. seem to have tried everything in their playbook. Oh, there's more in their arsenal, I promise you that. I don't know what it is, but they'll find it. Four. Five. At this point, it looks like even the winner of this match will walk out of here beaten in bags. Guys, it's imperative he gets back in the ring. Yeah, otherwise he's looking at a counter. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Eight. Nine. Both these superstars appear to be operating on fumes here, guys. 
Uh, come on, not like this. This is not how I wanted to see this end. And here's another peek at some of the more memorable parts of the match. Look at him go. And this is how he ended it. Here is your winner, Bray Wyatt. And the official decision is a count out. Hey, rules are rules. You got to pay attention to the 10 count or you're going to lose. It's that simple. We have a great matchup coming up next. This is going to be amazing. My colleagues may have harsh opinions about Elias' musical talents, but I see Elias as a man who's just born to run all over WWE. Here we go, fellas. I've been looking forward to this one for quite some time. Throughout his time in WWE, Elias has demonstrated an ability to defeat up and comers and veterans alike, sometimes with a six string on their back. Look, there's no doubting Elias' ability inside the ring. I just wish he'd take up something like making model airplanes instead of live musical performances, if those qualify as such. Oh, no. And a reverse DDT. What a stomp. Good grief. Neck breaker. Setting him up. Got the head scissors on. Oh, elbow to the face. This is a tough spot to find yourself in, that's for sure. But if anybody could break free from this, it's this superstar right here. Boom, what impact! And Zack Ryder may be in a bad way here. He came into this match expecting a fight, and that's exactly what he's getting. A quick reversal by Elias. Zack Ryder, and thank God I'm not. I'd make sure I didn't get carried away here. They're going to catch him off guard there, I guess. Way too early. He's making a statement here with this attack. Big slam. What do you think Zack Ryder needs to do to get back into this battle? It appears his opponent has his number right now. That confidence he had on his face at the start of this match sure has disappeared, and with good reason. He's taken quite a beating. A very crucial part in the match for him here. He simply cannot let his opponent gain too much momentum. Oh, this is one of my favorite moves, Corey. Unfortunately, woo, 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 I know it. Boom, broski boot. Now he's got to capitalize. He has him right where he wants him. Looking at it here. Uh, Zack Ryder with a rough rider. He's looking for the win. One, two. This battle's not over yet. Just power out. Tell me, 
Just how much strength does carrying your opponent around like this take? Let's put it this way, Cole. Saxton would never be able to do it. This guy. If I was Zack Ryder, and thank God I'm not, I'd make sure I didn't get carried away here. Zack Ryder trying to beat his opponent mentally as well as physically. This is not how you want to see a matchup like this end. Let's take another look at these guys getting after it. He's getting after it here. Yeah, he's putting in the work. Here is your winner, Zack Ryder. And that's a win to start off the night. And you just know the rest of the card is watching in the back, wondering how in the world they're going to follow that. Plenty more action still to come here tonight, folks. Buckle up because we have a contest that's going to blow the roof off this place. We have Team Kevin Owens against Team John Cena. Both legal men are in the ring and set to start things off here. We're ready to go. I can't help but get the feeling that this is going to be one of those matches people will be talking about for a long time to come. John Cena is one of WWE's longest tenured veterans, but he's still got plenty left. The shoulders are down. Digging deep for a kick out. Gonna take more than that. to get in there and now might be a good time to give him what he wants this thing appears to be slipping away from him in a hurry guys and you can bet he envisioned things going much differently for him heading into this match It's no Ouch. secret that quick tags lead to success in the tag team division. And I'd say the quicker he can make that tag here, the better their chances of winning will be. 
The good news for him is that he doesn't appear to have taken too much offense up to this point. But that can obviously all change here. During the rivalry between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team Championship, the teams became very familiar with one another. In June of 2017, the teams met in a two out of three falls bout on Monday Night Raw. The most important fall in a two out of three falls contest is the first fall. If a team can win the first fall, that shoulder's on the mat. That was all too easy for Kevin Owens. Still seems a little early. The two out of three falls match that saw the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus was a throwback of sorts. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, championship title defenses and grudge matches were often decided in the two out of three falls format. Cesaro and Sheamus didn't waste any time and scored the decisive first fall after a broke kick rocked Jeff Hardy. Cesaro and Sheamus wanted to continue their domination of Team Extreme, but the Hardys had other ideas as Matt tied things up at one fall apiece after a twist of fate on the Swiss sideboard. After a swanton bomb by Jeff Hardy, the match broke down and the third fall was ruled a double countout. In a tag team contest, a superstar and partner lock up against another duo. Unless there's a special stipulation added to the match, the traditional rules of a singles match apply in terms of winning the match via pinfall, submission, countout, or disqualification. Beautiful technique. In a standard tag team match, one competitor is in the ring against an opponent, and their teammate is in their corner standing on the ring apron. I should also point out that the competitor in the ring, as far as the referee is concerned, is the legal man. Only the legal man can attempt to score a fall over an opponent who will be defeated by an opponent. Here he goes. Cannonball by KO! That was simply amazing. He always had great stamina. See if it lasts here. Down hard. 
Yeah, he's the counter here. Turning it around, it's Sami Zayn with the reversal. This is the Cena that's just about unstoppable. And look at the quickness by Cena. John Cena victory here? Jeez, I don't like Sami Zayn's chances in this one. Interesting decision here, Corey. I don't know. I kind of like it. He clearly wants to inflict some more punishment. Hits him with a gut wrench suplex. What impact. Shoulders down. Pins broken up. I can't believe it. And John Cena's definitely getting in people's heads here. Oh, what impact! Undertaker's in trouble. Oof! Kick finds it. He's in full control now. Oh, no. Leaving himself open here. Now, yeah, guys, I can't think of a worse place for him to be right now. Hey! Now it's time to capitalize. Cover here. One, two. In order to be a premier tag team, a superstar and their teammate must have that continuity where they're a well-oiled machine inside the ring. I'm talking about classic techniques, like cutting the ring in half, isolating your opponent, relegating them to your corner, and making frequent tags so that the fresh man is always in the ring. That's how you keep your opponents off balance. Undertaker should get his head into the match instead of trying to get in other people's heads. Corey, a few moments ago, you took us through what it takes for a tag team to be successful. Continuity between tag team partners is crucial. When a team is able to keep one opponent in the ring for an extended period of time without making a tag, we're able to focus their attack on one individual and one body part. And that's when things really start to take shape if you're on the tag team that's in control of the match. When you look at the tag teams who dominated this business, as surprised as you guys are. That just echoed throughout this entire arena. And Sami Zayn reverses it. Remember, though, guys, his opponent doesn't seem to be in great shape either. Oh, I hate to see it end like this. Let's take another look at these guys in action. Check them out here. He ain't messing around. Here are your winners, John Cena. Gonna feel the effects of this win for a while. Oh, come on. That's garbage. Nobody wants a count out. Get them back in the ring and let's restart this thing.
they do it out here. The superstar in the ring is expecting another opponent. This is... Oh, now I get it, Byron. Now I get it. Oh, no, no. This superstar attacked the, the person who was supposed to be in this matchup and now making a beeline for the ring. What a shame this is. This isn't even the scheduled match. Well, we're going to have a ball anyway. Yeah, these two superstars, we know they can't stand each other. And now we're seeing why. Hammer it away. Official knocked out of the way. Here we go. Oh, no, look at this. Here we go, Michael. Oh, yeah. Ever so dangerous. The following contest is scheduled Here we for go. one fall. Making her way to the ring from Dallas, Texas. Boom. Wait, I can't think of it. Come on, we need to get over here. Now hold on, Cole. Let's just see where this goes. This might be it. Oh my. Oh, nasty impact. Jumping, leaping attack. Drop kick right on point. Nailed it. Boom! <laughs> Ooh, what impact. You've got to believe this 
one's over. Beautiful technique. impact. Alexa Bliss looking a little stunned here. She doesn't appear too concerned, however. These women are so evenly matched at this point, guys. Ouch. There's just no telling which one of them will walk out of here victorious. Oof. Beginning to look bad for her here. The referee has seen enough, and this one is over before it begins. Come on, ref. 